Moshi Moshi, my gamer, and welcome back to Honkai Style. Well, with the munitions of external parties, the poison warhead Hole, a hidden criminal who has been imprisoned on a Shansha law food for ages, managed to break free and embark on the Waiton Muckets. The Shackling Prison was plunged into a mental pill, closing the Shackling Prison's gates before gates just before he managed to flee with all that you could do. Today we're on a jailbreak trial. Go up. Okay. Oh. You guys hear that? Good evening. <laughs> oh! That what it was! Ouch! We're going with a melee. I see some invisible enemies! Oh! Oh! Draw some invisible enemies. I actually forgot about that. I just got one past two. I don't freaking care. Hey! Don't! Complete. Firefly, be careful. Nothing suspicious. Oh my lord, the audience was enemies here. Oh, okay. Oh, we escaped just in time. Just in time. Oh, I should be careful where I'm going to because there's some possibly invisible enemies around here too. Now, first thing. We must seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. Are we gonna be in time for that? How would you know that, Henya? Okay. The prison wardens and mechanisms won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. You know some shortcuts? Oh yeah, you pos you possibly do. I'm just bring some pass because why not? Touch the doorway, we're going upwards. You will not escape us! Like you will not escape us! <gasps> that was still alive. We're almost there. The gate is just ahead. Are you okay, Warland? My God. There are many fugitives. Please be careful, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah. We are up. Oh, yep. I don't care. I'm not gonna fight you. I ain't fighting you. You guys deal with that. Oh, what with that one? I will hold them back. Don't let Hule escape. Hmm? Are you going back? Nah, I think we'll be fine. We'll be okay. Okay. Not like to see a robin. Shut up. I'm gonna say that, Robin. It does seem worse so when we say that. No, let's burn this one. That breathing sensation. Okay. Remember it. Ooh, I'll go do that one. I'm not gonna be some of this, my deal. Anybody healing? Oh, not yet. I'm gonna say the ox. Does not yet. I don't say anything with that. Oh no. I hope for an end to strife in the world. Here's what I'm gonna do. Tonight, yeah, let's do it now. Tonight, the stars echo because of me. Who's going fist tonight? We are. Nice. May as well kill them all. Okay, this is what you gotta heal, Lily. Thanks. You're too good. Good time. Okay. Never last. Let's do it. Time to say bye. Boom. Like fireflies. Let's go. Until everything burns to ashes. Oh, come on. Bullshit. Heal everyone. Oh, it's too late. You're too good to me. Nice. We got some healing down. Bitch, you. More clawing you. I'm taking this one down. Hey! Don't 
Don't call the Zia! Oh my god. Shit! That's not good. That is not good. Hmm. I'm gonna do both. Just to play it safe, actually. Fine. The buzz is annoying. Ugh. Uh oh. We'll be okay though. Relax. Fire electric. There you go, Evan. May song bring us victory. I take this. <laughs> Ah, we took that bitch down. Commencing research. Killing Wobbin. Time for something savory. Thank you. My throat is doing much better. Hey, you made a what? Oh my god. What's the Linux? Stand still. Oh, almost got it. Almost got the shield. Uh oh. Hope for an end to strife, please. Quiet down. That breathing. I'm a little bit longer. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Too late! Perfect. Now's my chance! Relax! Deep breath! Too bad! Heal! To travel far away! <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! Support received! Alright, fist him! Relax! He awoke in. May song bring us victory. Okay. May as well kill them all. Target specimen sighted. Oh, yeah, next. Pickaxe. Stand still. Oh, what these things like good guys the answer the time? That's that's kind of weird. Uh oh. Yeah, let's go, Robin. I hope for an end to strife in the world. Okay, let's the do E on this. Soon play in unison. And sing. Tonight, the stars echo because of me. That breathing sensation. All right, this swing. Joining the battle. Fist up. Relax. Good times. Yep, Never let's we're gonna finish it. We're gonna to finish this. Bye. Oh! Looks like. Looks like. Every victory is hard won. Well, even the mommies took it down so easily. Are you okay? Hold on, I need to speak with you quick. Mission accepted. Stop. Initiatives. You're so tired. The only way you're bearing down. Oh my god. If I was a dude, it's like you're sucking my dick. Glad they're dead, actually. Let's go forward. But do I have some enemies are walking forward? We need to be careful with that. I don't care about enemies up ahead. Hold up, hold up, hold up, fucking main. I'm just dodging your moves. You missed. Ooh, another chest. I need to click down because why not? Like, Brother, you don't see them? Like, I don't smell anyone. No smell firefly? Nah, she has no scent. Oh, is that decision? The shackle prison has become a killing field. The prison guards try to resist, but Jacko can only watch them fall. <laughs> this brings back such familiar memories. Memories of chasing, gnawing, and tearing. Oh. My lord, we're just one step away from freedom. As we pass through the gate, no one will be able to stop us. Hmm. So this hostage is useless now. 
Kill him, Mock Talk. He's getting away. Do something, Chow Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something! Come on, dude. Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Zhou? <laughs> oh, just look at you. Fallen so low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, <laughs> no one from the Yao Qing would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here. Whether it's for the sake of Fei Shao Come or on. the Yao Qing. Come on, dude. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. Lowly beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak up. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Lo Fu. Why would you say her name? But he's probably doing it for a reason. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. <sighs> My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Mok Talk. And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? But, my lord! We must stay here for some time, Mock Talk. Fear not. Because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Xiangzhou who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Duran's whelps, follow me! Hey, let's go, my children. I'm being him for the story. Oh. oh, no, 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 dodging. Father could dodge. <laughs> you can't get me. You can't get me. <laughs> you can't get me. Oh my god, all the wow, that's crazy. Damn, it's like a hell. Like, I mean, not hell. I mean, it kind of is, is like hell. Nice. Wait, was that good or bad? I don't know if that's good or bad. If you did it or not. Report! After we lost contact with the Shackling prison, oh. we received a message from a Psycrane. The prisoners have revolted, and the criminal Hule is nowhere to be found. What about the Yaoqing messengers and the nameless? No news at the moment. We're trying to restore contact with the Shackling prison as soon as possible. I see. You're dismissed. General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan. It's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The hand of the Ruin Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Xianzhou Alliance will face an even greater challenge from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. As the Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away, once and for all. Let's go. As after the brief of the loss of communication, the lockdown Shagapun is once more under control. The special name has made a merge her mind, but one of the actual info has been taken a hostage. Meanwhile, the boys in the world head hallway, long confirmed of the shackling prison, has vanished without a trace. 
Damn! This is crazy. Sorry, because going to a proceed between the hunter and the hunter will still play on the essential lock food. If it says to be Kitag, what the hell did I just went through? Let me stay oh, here cool. a little what? longer in this body. What? That was it? Seriously? I thought we belonged in this. I didn't want to check something. The Marsh Soy play dance. Does she play as it? Oh no, that's much. Turn back to the clock with the Marsh has just become studying soy play. All right. Now that you're in position, Miss March. Let's get this lesson started. I'll go and do voice lines, but okay. I'm not good at acting all master like. Since Grandpa asked me to teach you swordplay, I won't hold back any secrets. Oh, thank you so much, masters. Oh, oh, wait. Does this mean our training is only officially starting right now? After all, we need to watch you practice for a few days before we can figure out how talented you are, right? So, how'd I do, Master? You're definitely talented, Miss March. Uh, hey, here you are. Did you hear that? These two masters just called me a swordplay genius. Hmm. Watch out for the overly genius, uh, social socialness, March. Oh, you're right. I almost got all excited for nothing. <laughs> I'm just speaking my mind. <laughs> Trust me. You're really talented. Did you hear that? I'm truly a genius. Swordplay requires rigorous training. Before we start, Miss March, you need to find a clear reason to keep you motivated while you train. It doesn't have to be something huge, but it needs to be clear. In other words, even though you didn't exactly choose to be our apprentice, you still need to take the initiative during this learning process. I once had the honor of learning swordplay from a master. She asked me why I started training at such a young age. Why I wielded a sword. So, for our first lesson, I'd like to ask you the same question. Miss March, why do you wield your sword? Why do I wield my sword? I wield my sword to take down my enemies. I mean, what other reason is there? I also questioned that sword master about why she uses her sword. And she said... To vanquish my enemies, nothing more. Miss March, you gave a similar response, which shows you've got potential. Hmm. Uh, uh, if you just want to defeat your enemy, you can stick with your bow. The best way to take down your enemy is with a blaster gun. I heard a hero say something like that in an immersion. He also mentioned that sword training can push a person's physical abilities to their ultimate limit. Seems like you've seen your fair share of immersion, Miss March. But if you want my opinion, if your goal is self-improvement, you'll feel just as accomplished even if you put down the sword and go back to your bow. Oh, come on. Don't listen to his empty talk. I want to say that honestly. Oh, now I'm curious to hear what Master Yun Lee has to say. Let me ask you something, March. Do you have any specific goals for learning swordplay? Like achieving a certain ranking in the war dance, or maybe you want to defeat someone. Like Yan Qing, or me. Who do I want to defeat? Him? Don Hong? Himeko? Or Mr. Yang? <sighs> if you can't think of anyone specific, why not set a simpler goal? Like, how many opponents do you want to defeat at once with a sword? I'll fight ten! That's like less, but okay. <laughs> Ten? Oops, uh, that just slipped out. It's actually another line from an immersion. Hmm. Having five minutes on the other side of the battlefield is the limit. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I think I figured out what's motivated March to learn swordplay. Could it possibly be immersion about swordmasters? Hey, now that you mention it. That actually makes sense. I'm super interested in Sienjo immersion and novels. Even though I use a bow, almost all the great heroes in those immersion use swords. So I want to be a sword master too. See? Hmm. Sounds like you develop a stereotype about heroes. It doesn't matter. Everyone has their own preferences. Becoming a sword master who fights for justice and battles evil. Well, that's definitely a good reason to keep you motivated in swordplay training. Uh, now that you've both given your approval, 
I have another small request. I want to perform a tea ceremony to honor you as my masters. Remember, you'll need to tap the table a few times with your fingers. Uh, tea what ceremony? Tap the table? Do we have to be so serious about accepting an apprentice for the first time? Uh, please? That's how those heroes in the Immersia show their respect. Hmm. Uh, let's just play along with her tea ceremony thing. Play along? <laughs> let's just stop wasting time. Just treat us to some milk tea. And then we can start our real swordplay training. Okay? Uh, yeah! Alright, let's go! To the Sleepless Earl! <sighs> oh, come on, dude. There's nothing wrong with that. Does this look a suck because I'm doing, honestly? I could, I could do that. I don't mind doing that, actually. We're gonna have some tea! Hey, this is not how it's supposed to be, right? The Sienjo is known for its tea culture and hospitality, but you're not treating me like a guest at all. Seriously, am I not a guest? <sighs> Dear guest. Stop! Oh my god, is this guy again? You're not even treating me as one. I want my tea just right. Not too hot, not too cold, but the tea you serve was either freezing or scalding. Is this how you treat your guest on the Sienjo? How fantastic! Your tea tastes like slop, and you even have the nerve to charge me for it! Are you trying to scam honest folks? And that name, the Sleepless Earl. It's so hard to remember. How about we give you a new plaque that says, Sienjo Slop? It suits this place better, don't you think? Uh, oh my god, why the fuck is this guy here again? Stop! You've gone too far! Oh, who's that trying to be a hero? It's me, March 7th! Cause more trouble and I'll show you who your mommy is. Wait, that sounded lame. Oh, come on. Uh, hey, uh, say something for me. What? Uh, <laughs> But she's my seven, the Soy Champion of the Astro Express. That's right. I'm the Sword Champion. Never heard of you. Now scurry back to wherever you crawled out from. Mr. Scott, I'm Yen Ching, a Cloud Knight Lieutenant. We've met before, and I suggest you stop causing trouble. Trouble? Ha! I'm just giving some feedback as a regular customer. The tea here is terrible, and now the Cloud Knights want to stop me from complaining about it? At this rate, who would want to ever come here for tea in the future? A regular customer? You? Yeah, what else would I be? The Sienjo's prisoner? Anyway, if you're trying to bully this young lady, you'd better watch out for the weapon in my hand. Huh? Oh, that really scares me. <laughs> Come on, you're not seriously trying to take my life with that piece of uh, scrap metal, are you? Scrap metal? This is my sword! I'm here to learn Sienjo swordplay. Swordplay? Oh, I get it now. It's just another kind of play, right? That explains why you're dressed like you're in a show. You're not even from the Sienjo, so why bother learning their swordplay? If you're feeling unsafe, I can sell you an IPC mech. Huh! As if anyone wants your junkyard scrap mechs! Hmm. March 7 can cut through your most with a single slash. Oh, how marvelous! How about you show me then? Well, guess it's time to show these bumpkins something serious. Oh boy. A few of these emerge response and appear near the Sep Sleepers Earl and more and more essential passive bites of Starwatch. Just a reminder, IPC members, street fighting on the Sienjo Lafu is prohibited. <laughs> Make any funny moves, and I'll smash that scrap metal. Hey, hey, relax. I know the rules. These are my <laughs> subordinates. They got stuck here because of the transport ship incident, and they need to vent their frustration. In the end, it's all the Sienjo's fault. Well, no. I can overlook the terrible tea, but now that you're questioning my security, I can't let it slide. After all, I have a courier business to run. With so many clients watching, that just wouldn't look too good now, would it? Instead of uh, wasting your life learning useless swordplay, why not invest in our civilian Max? Hmm? You'll have your master kneeling and begging for mercy in no time. Stop! Don't you dare insult Sienjo's swordplay like that! If you have the guts, I'll show your Max what I can do! Huh? 
A fight, you say? <laughs> now that you've thrown down the gauntlet March 7th, I feel I'm obliged to accept your challenge. Okay. Say whatever you want, but once you've seen what our mechs can do, you'll be practically begging us for them. Let's make a bet. Oh, come on! How could I say no to a bet? So, I can see you're no master yet, March, but I'll play fair. You go back and learn swordplay from your teachers here, and in 15 days, I'll come find you and challenge you with my mechs! Only 15 days? All right. Fine. And if you lose, you'll have to bark like a dog in public and shout, Sienjo swordplay is a total joke! Oh, hell no. Stand at the entrance of our room alley and say it to everyone passing by. Oh, and if that's the case, just forget about your master and become my apprentice instead. I'll teach you how to pilot a mech. And if I win? I'll become your apprentice? Hell no. Nah, I don't think so. Exactly. I don't like you. Yeah, fuck him. Okay, how about this? If I lose, I'll squeal like a pig in public and say, IPC mechs are a total joke. And I'll even print that on every mech on the transport ship. Deal? Okay, that's better. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. So he just changed barking into sequel and then supposed to be a different story? The squealing isn't enough. You also need to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl and take back what you said about Sienjo's swordplay. Fine, fine. I get it. But you've got to actually beat me with that little scrap of metal first. You all heard it, right? We'll meet again in 15 days. <laughs> Let's go. You're done, dude. Oh my god, why is this happening? Alright, let's talk to you now. Are you okay? Oh, yes. Thank you all for your timely help. The shop facing a bit of flat from visitors is a minor issue. But Miss March's decisions to challenge him is serious. Oh, I feel responsible as if the shop has inconvenienced you. Uh, don't worry. I can't stand by and watch someone be bullied. I have to stand up against injustice, no matter what! <sighs> Not only do you speak like a hero from an immersia, but you also have a kind heart. Your charisma has completely won me over, Miss March. <laughs> I'm not quite a hero. Oh, I know you're here for Yet. the tea ceremony. Please, come inside. Uh, thanks for the invitation, but right now, I just want to focus on practicing swordplay. Masters? Let's save the tea for later. Sure, the tea can wait for now. However, I have a question, Miss March. How confident are you about the bet you just made? Hmm. Mm, I don't think March has given any thought of it at all. Come on, how could I possibly lose? <sighs> You're right. It, it seems she really hasn't considered anything. I don't see any issue with it. Let March give it a shot. As long as she trains diligently, I believe she can easily deal with that hunk of IPC scrap metal. As long as she trains diligently. I'm now filled with determination, Masters. I'll learn swordplay well and teach that guy a lesson. <laughs> You're my most trusted friend. You'll be my assistant teacher and make sure I learn swordplay properly. Uh, three teachers and one apprentice. If I can't learn swordplay well, I'll have no one to blame but myself. Masters, Mr. Teaching Assistant, let's go back and start the training now. Uh, okay. Wasn't the practice dummy? Uh, I Your mean... IPC guy will show up in 15 days. I've got to become a swordmaster by then. Becoming a swordmaster in a mere 15 days is quite challenging. But we can't lose our momentum, Master Yun Li. Momentum alone will only keep you going for about three days. If you really want to stick with it, you need a solid plan. No worries. I found my professional teaching assistant to help me organize the lessons. So there won't be any problems. Mm. I'll be sure to arrange lessons for March. Rest assured, Masters. If not in me, at least place your faith in him, my trusty sidekick. Miss March is really passionate about learning swordplay. And now, she has a clear goal in mind. 
That's a good thing for her. There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. I hope you will always remember this, Miss March. Got it. It's all etched into my memory. <sighs> Since you've got that in mind, it's time for me to set some targets for you. Please, go ahead, Master Yun Li. We'll have three exams during these 15 days. If you pass our tests, those pieces of IPC scrap won't stand a chance. But if you fail, that would mean Yun Li is a terrible teacher. What? And if that's the case, I hope you won't force yourself to take on the challenge, Miss March. Hey, you are the terrible teacher here. I understand. In the Immersia, the Disciple and the Master share both honor and disgrace. If the Apprentice fails, the Master loses face, too. Well, there aren't that many customs on the Sienjo. I'm just worried about you getting hurt. But as long as you practice diligently and pass the tests, we'll feel confident about your duel. Now, let's go back to the first question I asked you. I'm sure you found a reason to wield your sword. Right, Miss March? Absolutely! I wield my sword to become a hero! I want to fight for justice, punish the wicked, and make them quiver in fear and run away when they see me! Then keep that fire burning, and learn with all your heart. You haven't said much, Mr. Teaching Assistant. Any suggestions before we officially start training? Uh... Um... Uh, master of the sword trumps all. For the cool, calm, and ruthless way of doing things. That's my kind of style. Oh, that's enough chit chat for now. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye on my swordplay practice. Yeah, you got it. Oh, wait. Pass of a sword, tri sword trial? Okay, they. Uh, whoo, look at this. At the sword player assistant, you'll be a witch much than a sword player assistant and help you help Mr. Sword player and play a different scout in 15 days. Mr. Marsh, the king's sword is the last on the same village sword moves. Cut the flaws! Uh, let's not get hands out to learn a few sword moves directly. Uh, okay, sword play is a basic of the sword boot and can unleash enemies' power in combat. Let's start by saying tangles. Let's sword move cut and cold. Um, okay! So now we did that. See the circle as you learn goal, and you can check the quiet stats of Jonas heal. You can put your stats by the target training session. Practice exactly what you need to improve. Huh. Like straight training? Okay, let's do all these four because why not? Let's do, this. do I get to see the do I get to see? We're the wording. This is like a manga I'm reading! Target wait oh wow. You can't believe those words. Do you even know what that means? Absolutely not! Oh, cool, not. A string went up. Don't stop, more food work. Maybe I'll only like this. I'll just have milk tea. Ah, where's the help? Milk tea on Tammy. Why did you put that just full of. Full of what? Come on, come on, don't miss out. This was the sound of sleep. I'm bound. Do you show the. What the hell is happening, much? Okay, that's the only thing to do. Master, this taco sounds me. Should sh be me. Oh my god. You are much seventh. This is the fourth level of your dream. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Oh no, I put all my eyelids. Wow, you feel level of your dream? <laughs> Audacity. <laughs> it went up, it went up. Hey, three more days, let's do it. Training and consume mood. If it wasn't good, it eventually will also decrease. Basically, balance with the rest quick will make focus good to move so more. Uh, let's do it two times. And the training wise? Uh, let's see. Okay, would you have some rewards actually? Master moves. Really? Just learn that? Okay. Yes. I guess I am pretty awesome after all. Yes, my joy. Um, okay, let's see. Who needs more work? Your dancing scene needs more training. And let's get more docility training as well for those two. Oh, it won't hurt. 
Sausage can be taken all the time. Click here to speed up the past time. Okay, couldn't have us you to march through the game pay off knowledge with Jade. March, you won again? Is that from playing the castle of Jade? Okay, March, you are better about the Goofy to instead of plus to watch her perform. Goofy has genius talent. The study of her performance speaks volume and the elaboration is never overdone. My son falls silent with the test moments and cheer to exciting ones. Complete immersed in the performance. Okay. March, wanna try? Oh, my please lie down right here and I'll smash the balls on your chest. On me? Hiya. Master, I done it! Don't even try to find what just who just you just bought. It got found out. A day spent so is always full of interesting stories. It still is. Near the war dance, me often the travel appears as we dissolve a deceive ask of old man or cosmos seven. He observe her excellent perquis and the presence of the high king of Mr. Shaw's secret manual. But the old man has a wall. Only one manual has been sold. At the moment my seven choice is How should I go about this? Let's see, let's go a curly dance. I don't think you so. Yeah, to jump us. Is this the same thing or something different? Okay, level the boy dream. I want to make sure I show everything, even though it's not gonna be about the same. You want to sip again? I'm gonna speed this up. Do, 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 speed this up. I learned so much today. Hey, look well at well that. Done, me. You're doing good. Two more days. Soy trial. I'll do soy trial. Hmm. I mean, you could do some more training. I mean, you can rest one more time. I'll see you all the time resting. And then, uh, fantasy training. And then, a cut, a courtesy, and identity. Make it all equal. Because why not? Mr. Zen has all his own books. Yeah, he always comes to Cyrus having to perform yeah, storytelling. He truly loves this craft. One of those tales of sword wielding heroes or heroes of epics, yeah. Marcel listens and going in literature, cheering from the time to time, this greatly encourages Mr. Italian, who, without realizing, is taking onto a nightfall, whose voice is going on a horse. Machine just can't have been praised. This is an amazing machine! One boy! Okay, give up. You can't beat me. Do you want me to beat you? Maybe you shouldn't talk! Oh that a sun fell on me in the end. Marsh looks angry. Grazing tail of the crane. Moon form of the tiger. Tiger crane door first stance. Yes, I hold up on the camera, I can't hold it longer. I'm gonna now, let's continue with the training. Nice. Oh double up? Okay. Oh okay, I'm gonna be this up. Wait no this fight. I'm skipping this. Session speed up. <laughs> they aren't heavy, that's true though. So, hey, I managed to nine fell down. Fuck. Hey. Okay, one more train to go. Okay. Um, she could rest and then. More train. Hmm, let's see. Tendency could be more work on. Uh, Odyssey again, and probably more footwork because the strength here is okay. Okay, a decent searching is always full of interesting stories. Do you think it's just a cloud of nice officer coverage of the, for the sea of the fine forest side? I'll say in the session, cloud nights spoons inside is a great help to soil practice. Using the butterfly and mercer's motion can feel as if she is personally in the war dance arena. Countless blades swash past within inches of flesh, truly insist in drilling. Yatching acts much like what she is feeling. I'm dead. Mm, what do you recommend? Hmm. <laughs> okay, um, uh, prove the disgrace of the toy I and we feel the heat of real battle. Great! I see, please take a look at this next march. Okay, this fight we can skip through. Skip through the sessions. <sighs> that is okay. Training for today. I need Ooh. time to absorb everything. Oh my god, this is the end. See you days. Uh oh. Today, you'll face your first test. It's all about the basics. Oh, I know. It's a float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Right? Uh, that's boxing. 
but... Head spell. Close enough, I guess. Grasping the basics is crucial to mastering swordplay, Miss March. Focus on wielding your sword properly, making your thrusts swift and strikes brisk. And parries should be fluid and nimble. Got it! See? Even March is getting bored of your rambling. Uh, uh, but I'm actually not bored at all. Miss March is still a novice, so I'm giving her some tips on the basics to help her better understand them. Neglecting the basics will only make you vulnerable in a fight. Even for an extraordinary sword master like you, Yun Li. Uh, just focus on your teaching. Why bring me into this? What? Didn't General Hoi An offer you any guidance? <laughs> Looks like your general hasn't told you to stop hopping around like a sparrow in a fight, huh? Hmm. Uh, let's focus on the test, masters. Miss March has been learning the basics of swordplay, and now it's time to put her knowledge to the test. Unsheath your swords and show me what you've got, March. Do I have to see an action? According to the schedule, there's a test <gasps> today, right? We'll find some I'm enemies. Ready. Oh shit. The solo trial must be completed by March Chef alone. The entire battle will proceed on my and no sense of teammates is allowed. The highest muster is so accessible way, the easier to be past the trial. Successfully completed the trial, the agent should stay and restore her mood. Okay, guess we'll start some uh, fighting the seals that can be mastered. Continue the solo trial. Oh no, shit, I should go back! I gotta make sure I do this first before we get started. Another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. Okay, now we got this down. Now we can start the sword battle. Let's go, mind. I got a feeling like the whole thing earlier. Okay, so I, just call... I could speed one this if I wanted to? I mean, sure, I could. Yeah, let's speed one this actually. Because March is. I could go speed one this, because why not? Yeah, slay March. Oh my gosh, she is literally dominating. They're not even hurting her. Nah, we're just sitting here and watching her demolish everyone. Demolishing everyone. Damn. Damn, look at that. She's killing everyone. Murdering one by one. I'm still standing. I thought we weren't clicking, but I guess not. Finish it. There you go, much. You miss much. You really also has been doing more fast. It's truly commendable. Uh huh. Oh, look at the hundreds. Good progress, yeah. I wasn't expecting that for much. Looks like I passed the test, right? <laughs> yeah. Well done. You passed with flying colors. Great. Hey, uh, hurry up and congratulate me. Uh, don't go to Kaku. You still have two more tests to go. Ah, oh, jeez. You sound just like those parents on the Sien show. Can't I get some praise now? Uh, okay, fine. You're amazing, my. You're master the basics. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without my masters and you, Mr. Teeth. So if I were to take on that IPC guy now, what would you say are my chances? You already have a martial arts background and plenty of real combat experience. But with swordplay guidance from me and Yun Li, if you were to challenge the IPC's security mechs now, I believe... You wouldn't stand a chance. Yun Li's... right. And no chance? Hey, are you trying to crush my confidence? I'm oh, the geez. kind of girl who performs better when I'm showered with praise, just so you know. Hmm. Uh, Amash can totally crush those mugs, even with the hands tied behind her back. I'm not that I confident. But thank you for believing in me. <laughs> I thought teaching March was just something of a hobby. But now, actually seeing her progress gives me a sense of accomplishment. Oh, really? So now you finally acknowledge her talent, Master Yun Li? Don't oh, worry, Miss March. <laughs> I've been no. serious about teaching you from the start. Uh, don't try to yeah, cause yeah. a rift between us. <laughs> Every move and technique I taught March is straight from the Juming art of swordplay. Fifteen days of training is short, Miss March. Whether you pass or fail this test, I hope you'll continue with the basics. Because that's your best shot at winning. After every test, the General would take me to the Artisanship Commission for sword maintenance. Let's go, Miss March. Today, 
I'll follow the General's example, as a way of acknowledging your progress. Oh, thank you, Master Yen Ching! Mommy in the dark corner of the Lafu. What? So, have you found any information about her? Yeah, that girl is one of the nameless on the Astral Express. Oh, she's no pushover. Don't you think this pet's a bit too risky? Yeah, it is. So what? Have you seen those big shots in the strategic investment department? Do they ever make safe bets? She thinks she could fool me by flying under the radar? You there! Get me the most powerful mech we've got! Okay. Uh, understood. Checking the inventory now. Now I'm curious to see what this 15-day crash course apprentice is really capable of. Oh boy. Pass the second toy trial. Okay, I'm gonna spill most of this guy, so give me a second. My show is his first year about how to improve for sword play, but they can't affluent figure. Huh? <gasps> oh my god, it's Wawa! Not Tyro C countless and this much! Wow, what am I saying? Let's possess my seventh. Ah! Ah! Hey, hey, they'll miss much! I'll get the tons out right now! Don't worry, I'm not possessed, but he's pulling your leg. It's been a while. What are the heck are you doing? Uh, I'm taking a break at Starkey's Haven. Just watching the skies to steal one by one. It's really relaxing. Being in the tunnel's commission just is really stressful too, I bet. Two? Have the one to something that's been waving hand on your mind this much? Seventh, I've been picking up chances so this play, so there's been some emotional stress and social stress. You're early on the man of the upcoming door between my seventh and the IPC busybody. I think I get the gist of it. It's that like he's trying to master his school sword players in such a short time. No wonder Miss March Seven's sister said, I know some you want to sword play if you need some help. Ha! Ah, you think even on this all steady? Don't you do your voice doesn't mean your skills? Uh, sh sh I, I can't hold it steady, but I'm better than you. You don't have a hands. Oh, it's time for I got some sharp tongue. If you want to war this wing and I possess you, you have to try real to lose that breath from the seat of the fine foresight. Master Yulin is really powerful. You sure you don't just blow smokes, Mr. Tail? Hmm. As long as I pursue one of extraordinary collaboration and absorb that person's memory and emotion, I can master the exact same technique. Isn't that the fastest way to do it if you want to learn that rat soys play? No, no, no! I will not do the fucking seal! Tss, tss, fuck then, I guess. You decided to help your friends, so it's worth as much, eh? Yes. Thank you both for looking out for me, Claudius. I wonder what you think about the side cut. Um, time is light. It's a good idea to build a safe file. It's a safe file? When you put it that way, it doesn't sound like I about how to play a safe file, but what's Mr. Tail, please? I bet that you left empty handed. Yo, there's a bad idea, why miss much? Bad. Yeah, I was trying to be nice, but if you want I wouldn't help you now. Ah, man, hey, I just sent off a zombie case. Look, look, I'll those hands over. We'll talk again, Miss Much. Catch you later. Who has got off in a hurry? Let me give you a quick hug and then say bye bye. I'm giving you some thought. I think it's gonna be glad for Mr. Tell's decision. When I see you all again, I should ask advice for both her and Mr. Tell. Uh, Joy. Anyways. Ooh, second assistance? How does that work? I must be curious. So, oh, I could pick. During the search training, Master can receive assistance from companions. It's in the first of a training exercises. <gasps> Okay, starting today, I too will help Miss Hans with her sword training. Please choose this affected. Uh, Chessy training? Let's give it that. Ooh, look, the training is out there. This is a visit for the highlights. Ooh, Marjorie's. You need West first girl, then you can do some training. Uh, Tactacy is double up. And then everything else could go up. Let's speed up this process. Okay, there's deed, and then there's deed, and then the oh, what? It's one day so it's training full of entry story. It's the same thing with a different one. How was well his spiritual report of a Hawker Hollow in the Feister Garden? March turn ties on and investigate. The air is suddenly fogs up, and the film market and solid starts to pop up. The secret ladies with the vicious pushes treasures. Checklist tortured goggles among the ghostly crowd. Could this be the ghost market of the ghost? Facial garden? Oh, how lightly talks of March 7th. Seem that to stay close. March 7th size too. What do you reckon?
recommend. Hmm. Let's do. Why would oh, why would you do that? Snap a few floors of traveling souvenirs. Huh? Why is nothing show up in the photos? I don't know. Uh, uh. I learned so much today. Double well, up. Well okay, two more days. Let's do it. I'm gonna speed on this. Marston gave him the link to help the host emotional exchange to sword skills. Just didn't know how was the because of the zombie with the case. Another one? Ah! Oh, it's kind of the same the smudge seven too! Oh, why do you look so dazed? We found two zombies now for the gun recently. Well, zombie might be the right word. The victim has no hidden stress on them, no obvious external injuries, but they kept repeating some strange behavior. How interesting! Miss my seven, please don't paralyze me. This could mean that it's cyber zombie. Mm, we don't know. Not everything is sunny will make sense just because you attack your world cyber in front of it. The person's still alive, so it's not very much to call them a goddamn zombie. Just like when you and Cloud is form a ghost hunting squad, like allies that together. Next up, let's have us uh, so how about just the case. Okay, okay, something might click if you put on a brain together. The first thing of the world is combat with shine. Their muscles were fired when they were to serve. Their eyes were stretched out in front of them, and they were much of also excess rhymes. The sick video is also a warden's combat of Westerners. From he is the former clown knight person of the spear. He was the other person battling with the spear. Hmm, the victim has something in common. They're both warden's constants. It appears the corporate is expressly choosing warden's constant in their target. Myself and your a person too. So, how about next target then? You should get this alert to West Fierce no, and it. then, and let us no, finish talking. Besides it. the fact that they are for persistence, they also had a similar characteristic. They both force with, with, with the first straw garden to poke around My after reading the message on the law fool's ghostly grove. These victims believe that Jastral Garden Virtus Globe will whimper put the skills and decide to train here before the match is started. In some attempts to harness the worldly English absorbed here, people still believe these mumble jumble in this day and age. Finally, these two who shoo home by the town of commissions spirify our duty Uncle Chu. They start acting funny the following day. Mystery solve, Uncle you know, shit. it must be Heliobus. I also guess it's an escape as and so uh, that's up to no good. I think it's a similar to Zero Imbecile. Does this Uncle Drew have two disciples and one of them got bitten by a zombie and the other got killed by a female ghost? Oh, Uncle Drew has no disciple. Oh, that's all I was speaking. Cut down your muzzle and touch some grass. Damn the way he said it. But since you want to join, don't worry, Dan. You must be careful. Don't get the good time if anything happens. Okay. Good luck, Paul. Actually... Hope you got your copies to call Skip soon. Good news. Well, let's go up gonna in a hurry. Well, give us a hug first, and then go. It seems like the warden's going on purpose. Careless. How about if we try a lot of fun guy when we got time? We might be able to help Paul. Yeah. Okay, Anyways, no. ooh, available. I mean, okay, we got up. that down. Yeah, he started to dare to go a million for four seconds in the front garden. Many people are hard enough to visit our moon, but the only Christian does this. Oh, let's stop love actually. It went up though, that's crazy. Okay, so. A day spent torturing is always full of interesting stories. Is this a different? Before a certain Tuesday at Fort Mustang, a Hulu stopped for hot in March 7. I have heard that this has this with Sulkley. I have come forth this following you. The agent tubes of Sulkley of mine requires the two people of heights are joined at once. Until Sulkley becomes one, the Hillbirds and Cold Jewel the drink together. Hoho pins to March 7, but the Hillbirds board are totally trustworthy. March 7 looks over the Hoho. -ho -ho. Um. Um. Uh, um, ha ha, use the lumber goddess of the quickly. Uh, okay, Miss Royce, you're so so calm. Anyway, speed up. Hey, I have the on training. The training face has be improved. Hey, all whole training time. Time for your second test. I'll be your examiner this time. And I'll be testing your ability to defeat enemies with unconventional moves. Grandpa always said that everything can be a sword. And that there are... And there's possibilities for learning swordplay in this vast world. 
If you want to defeat your opponent, you'll need your own secret move. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of secret moves, I've prepared some flaming potent tea. Huh? Is that the flaming potent tea from Arum Alley? You got it. I saw this immersion where the hero drank the flaming potent tea and started stumbling and shaking all over the place. But then he managed to defeat his father's murderer with his drunken sword play. Good example. Do you know how to do the drunken sword play? Uh, no. I figured I could just learn it by drinking flaming potent tea. That's not how it works in real life, Miss March. Nah. Oh my god. Do you have other tricks up your sleeves, March? Absolutely. I've learned a lot from my adventures. I've heard you've traveled a lot, Miss March. I'm excited to see how you incorporate your experiences into your swordplay moves. Your opponent this time is similar to the IPC mechs. Unsheath your swords and give it everything you've got. Oh, what? According to the schedule, the, there's a test today, right? The test cup. I'm ready. See how prepared you are. No one knows before the child let me show my moves a little more. Yeah, yeah. March Park is incredible. Oh, you come with the fully master cut and colts. Of course, they fully grab it. Another new move under my belt. supposed to be on the move a one. Time to try it out. Play. Oh, so I get it. That's next line goal. Why are we marking it down? Like, I don't think we have to do that. Okay, it's just these two haven't done so. We'll be good. Oh, right, let's go. Now we're gonna. Oh, okay. Ah, let's sit and relax. Let's see how it goes. Go gonna speed on this. Come on, you got this. What the hell? Oh, what the fuck was that? Yeah. What is that? You guys see that? How did she manage to get down here? It wouldn't matter what happened, so we're just gonna. I'm just fine. Explode that one. <laughs> we'll, we'll, she's doing good. Do the speed one in this. No, my hand is over that. She's still breathing. Hey, completed. Second child succeeded. Well, far much as his best disciple. Ah, oh, they went up. That's a lot. Those moves were pretty unconventional, but the way you've blended them into your swordplay was impressive. It's like you've developed your own unique style, Miss March. So, I thought you were just wasting your time traveling around with Yun Lee's encouragement. But it seems like it's paid off. Well, well. Looks like someone's finally seeing sense. Uh, thank you both for your guidance. So, uh, did I pass the test? <laughs> Without a doubt. You aced it. Awesome! Hey, uh, Mr. Teaching Assistant, isn't it about time you showered me with praise? Ice grains. Uh, it also depends on when you pass the next test. No saving allowed. Let's keep it relevant. This time's for now, next time's for later. No IOUs on praise. Uh, my god, yay, congratulations. Uh, I won't be modest this time. My skills have improved by leaps and bounds. General Jing Yuan once told me that everyone has the potential to be my master. Not just Cloud Knight instructors, but also artists and outsiders. Actually, I was once convinced by Gui Naifin into swallowing a sword. That's definitely not something you learn from regular practice. So, what do you think your odds are, March? Uh, maybe around 30 or 40 percent? Hmm. Uh, you don't see as close as last time. What's up? Well, I've gained a deeper understanding of swordplay, and I'm more aware of my own strengths now. By the way, in those Emerge stories, the sword masters always hide their true strength before a decisive battle. Hmm. Yep, those will boast they win, you end up losing. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Hmm. From the test? I can tell that you still need some Maybe. time to master your swordplay. But oh, you did pretty well. Milk tea is on me today. Oh, yeah. I don't like. Mom's later in the dark corner of the lawful. Oh, this guy again? 
The progress report on the Nameless Girl sword training is complete. What should I do now, Specialist Scott? Huh? Are you being sarcastic or something? I mean, don't I have other important tasks to do? It feels like a bit of a waste of time to keep tabs on some random girl swordplay training. A waste of time? No! This is about safeguarding the reputation of the IPC and the honor of the Amber Lord. Are you saying that March 7th can actually take down an Arumaton from the Artisanship Commission with a sword? Come on, an Arumaton is no match for our state-of-the-art mechs. Go and strengthen our mechs even further. I refuse to believe that little sliver of metal can actually challenge our cutting-edge technology. But the armor's already pretty thick. No, it's not enough. Reinforce it more. If I lose face, it's like losing face for the IPC and the Ember Lord. Can we afford to let that happen? You will tell pass or I don't know. Understood. Nah, Tobas probably knows about this too. Like, the hell is this guy doing? Oh, like, guess people on this. It is mentioned as full of interesting stories. Another one? Mushroom has invited Hoka has invited Hoka to pull off Hoka together. While I troll, there's someone else similar to the strange area. Was there She's such a person in food gardens? Who else is some thing suspicious? Mushroom has always leaved this place. Um, operate. I'll say operate. Uh, what? Was it even the queen I know? Oh, God damn it! I have all getting evidence related to the zombie case. Must have these covers hidden in the French garden. Oh boy, we we'll actually go in there. To have all resolved the zombie case, you and Marshall arrive in the first garden in the middle of the night. The whole is, is, is focused me on taking more than cotton, especially. Wow, that is amazing! We got a special light gun out of the oh. crown. Tell us that the merchant put at the young age. You're a mere genius who appears once in a century. You should stop lashing your praise on my seven. She might actually believe you. What is your name, huh? What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean, huh? Oh, I'm a boy girl. material genius! Now, material girl? As long as you let your touch on you, your core cool minutes is detached, allowing you to change the city of what they put in the but just the one is to be a cock. Try to appeal to the covered spirit? No can do! Suck and show, show yourself, bitch! Come on. Fine, you got me. Honestly, though, I'm a massive author visit all across the schools. Just just let me touch your head, and I'll be able to put your skill in the blink of eye. At what price? I don't suppose it's because I'm in spirit companies. Forget Forget it! I'm not laying on of that! You don't want to? I'm afraid that's not to you. I give them lessons free in charge. You had no choice but to learn them. I'll much like you see it before the darkness. Cause it's virtually always between my style choice in her mind. Unfortunately though, now it's gonna lose late to cycle. Feel not much much here I come! I was almost too late! Thank God you were here! Well, has that overall this has been supposed? Yes, I saw that very when the let me go. Look, I still can't move my arms and legs. I feel so little to you, and then you need to go to rest. Sometime later. Not much. I think I'm the bond of some mystery. The huge point of the computer will be because in the channel, all of them are into their minds. How the way your arms and legs? How the everybody? Infinite and full certainty of made non stop. A plea will not to hold it. Such a massive system to push will no longer the mind of an else in the body. The body can't keep up with this mind. Why was just a short time? I feel like I could see everything, you ate, but I couldn't do a single thing. So this is what it means when a body can't keep up the mind. How did you cut so should I be I should be getting back to see the hippos? We'll meet again. Goodbye, wah wah. Cross got in a hurry, gave us a hug. Yeah, bye hua. Again. I was thinking about spending some time with her today, but she got stuff to do. Let's try it again next time. I'm dreaming because this is where Holly was cloudy. Let's go grab some taste to eat. Uh, yeah. Okay. We got that done. Hey, Dolly spent so training his eyes full of interesting stories. Another one. Here we go. Masha has been invited by several spirits to play a spirit summoning game. Now I have the Temple Commission, staff, spirit summoning is nothing but a game of supporting to test the standing of the physical, but after my ask how she improved her sword skills, the spirit of the sky being the nerdy panic of so slightly. Must then decides to obtain the answer that, sh that she wants. Hmm. What do you recommend? Let's say strength. Strength? Uh, I swallow black thing in the mouth? Much you be glued! Yes, yeah, she was. Marshall was just unpopular about her that liked to teach people. Thankfully, who will have to save her? Again? 
Do you ever see anyone with the help of some fire? Usually, I still told you it won't be charming anyone anymore. The one is present who filmed the Indian saloon calling their senses. And all this year in colors that the real the war has been quarried. Think she had seen for her. No wonder you're a tennis commission judge. You have something you wish to say last time? It was about when Mr. Taylor said that the memory of self professors could be channeled into me. I had to admit that I was intensely being tempted, just a tiny bit. My deal's pretty decent, eh? I just wanted Mr. to help me out then, at least to learn the move or two, but I was too embarrassed to admit it. Luckily, all was too pissed to let you have your way. You hear this? That the martial is real powerful, it's surprised all the way, people. If I hadn't wanted to the holy bus, I wouldn't have understood the shit between my knowledge and mastery of sword play. That's not the shortcut to learn sword play after all. I very much agree with Mr. Miss Miss Marshavid on this. Do I heard as a much murder and the safety method the garden messenger have that have that can serve non-extinct sword play memories into your mind. In that case, would you still refuse? I must see how this decline. I think I have to put my own doesn't do it to experience in my set of turn. Miss Master Eugene Soy and Master Yuli Soy into my seven soy. You make a good point there, girlie. If if my journey was any more than a copy and paste process, I never be able to suppress the two masters. Hmm. Sounds like you had quite the empathy. For me to be worried about the public wisdom, you should sure mean not to attend new heights with my soy place, am I right? Spotty passion for the self-help book make you all ignite it now. If you really think you all that, you should be treated hard of your soy play. I got a block of free time to attend to the master, Miss Mart. If you need help, take the skull. Come to see me anytime. Miss Ten, I will definitely help you out. Sure, I think so, and Mr. Tail. Okay. Before we start the test, there's something I need to tell you, Miss March. I've received a challenge letter from Scott. He's made thorough preparations, contacting the Realm Keeping Commission, and getting approval for a martial arts exchange event. He even chose Arumali as the venue. Seems like there's some connections there. However, according to the rules, the person receiving the challenge letter has the right to decline the challenge. But declining would be like admitting defeat. Of course I'll accept it. But before that, you need to pass the final test. The graduation exam. Hmm. Yo, is this what you don't want to teach anymore, Master Yaching? Ah, uh, no way. Master Yan Ching has been great to me. Well, it's not really graduation. It's just that the opponent for this exam is your master, Yan Ching. When General Jing Yuan was teaching me swordplay, he used to personally spar with me during crucial moments to assess my skills. After all, the master should be the one who is most aware of their student's strengths and weaknesses. But, Master Yan Ching, facing you in a duel, do I really stand a chance? How will we ever find out if you don't even try? Are you only scared because I'm your opponent, Miss March? Unsheath your swords and get ready, Miss March. The duel starts now. <laughs> the final test. Oh boy. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, come on, March seventh. You got this. You'll be fine. What? Did I? Did you do this? Did really just learn that? Oh I yes, you I did. Am awesome after all. Oh, wait, I could unlock. Uh, what? Bored. I could already. I oh, wait, I could. I was not paying attention to what I was doing actually. Even this? Oh wow, March is... Oh wow, March, you are getting good. Alright, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit and relax. That's what is happening. Yeah, deal with them first, March. You be good. Overkill, the fuck was that? You just... <laughs> Dr. Bad for him? Come get me. Hey, yo, he's like, come. Not like that, but that's a child. What the hell was that? Y'all see these guys? Oh, look at it. It's like I'm commenting what's happening. Like, March, do her alt. Now I'll see Slash is. And then her sword just broke his one of the swords. And yeah, Jane just swing at the sword at the girl who's more stronger than her. That is not going to work. She's still peeled too, you see that? Ooh, you're done. 
Oh, you almost failed. I think you killed your master, dude. Are you saying that I mastered the genius? Um, yeah. Not bad. You've made it this far, Miss March. You've passed the exam. You're bleeding, master. Oh. You sure it's okay? You <laughs> says all of it, but the world trial is about to begin. I get your point, but this isn't the time for deflections. But quickly, say something nice about me. Uh. Congratulations, you are now officially the member of the Buster Yang Ching Club. Uh, actually, I didn't defeat Master Yan Ching. <laughs> With your sword play skills, you can effortlessly take down IPC Max, March. Yeah, I'm pretty confident too. But looking back, haven't you learned something more important than just sword play? Yeah, I have not only learned sword play from masters. But I've also met a bunch of people and gained a lot of insights from my experiences. Those experiences will nourish your sword skills. It's just like Master Yunli said everything can be a sword, and there are endless possibilities for learning sword play in the vast world. That actually makes sense. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. Oh, do you? Uh, maybe another method? Wait, that's Huahua! I can see that! The fam and fell skill just soid. Oh, we go with Huahua. Another bit we can use? I don't know! I'm kinda curious though, but I wanna be safe and sorry at the moment. Yeah, I'll show Scott the power of the Sienjo sword play that he despises. I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains, but if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. <sighs> you know I should be doing with novel story quests? I should make sure the fact that I make my recordings like about 100 minutes from now on. Anyways, let's kick this guy's ass. Well, well. It isn't our hero, March 7th. Hmm. I, this is like the event I did way before. Down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. But I'm curious, why pick Arum Alley of all places? It's packed with tourists around, and it'd be bad if someone got hurt. Why Arum Alley? Well, your buddy knows the answer to that. Hmm. Well, this is the place you lost a bit and buck like a fucking dog after all. I can't deny it. Faithful day left a mark on me. That's why I chose this place. I want to show all those people who laughed at me that I can stand on my own two feet again. They'll be like, what? That Scott is back again? What's he got up to this time? They'll see that I, Scott, who was once shamed in front of everyone, is back in our room alley to restore his honor. They'll see that it won't be me squealing like a pig today, but you! Hmm. Are you even thinking of that I'm the right person? Right person? No. I want to enact revenge on the entirety of our room alley. But then, wait, where does bullying the owner of the Sleepless Earl fit in with all of this? Ah! Shut up! Look, I have my principles. I refuse to spend my life haunted by what happened in our room alley. Do you think I'm just some sort of IPC small fry? I've been patient for so long, just waiting for the right moment. I don't care about proving my greatness. It's about showing everyone in our room alley that I will reclaim what was taken from me. Hmm. Spell me your garden lecher. You're not going back what you lost. No, you won't. <sighs> I've been keeping an eye on you. Seriously. Do you really believe that you, a rookie who's only been learning swordplay for 15 days, can defeat my invincible mechs? Dream on! Enough with the talk! Let's get down to business, boys! Huh! Once you bite the dust, you'll know what I'm capable of. Oh boy. Am I gonna be this Oh, is she? Oh, never mind. Oh shit! I gotta sit and watch this happens. Gotta be here with March. March got stronger the whole time. 
Yeah, you're dead instantly. One shot. This is so insane. Yeah, see? Look at that. It wouldn't matter. Aw, oh, see? Ma's still standing. I'm still standing. Oh, you think? If I can send him another one, really? Yeah, take that push down. Oh yeah, for this two. Oh, just one. Nah, Marsh got this. Look at that. She got it. This is how I grind, by the way. I I spill on everything. I'm being bullied, but look at me. I'm still kicking ass. Get down. Oh my god, all the power moves. Damn, that's crazy. Ah, you pathetic losers! How how did you all lose to that rookie? Hey, stop blaming others. Didn't you lose to me too? So does that mean I I have to No way! This can't be happening! How could a tiny piece of scrap metal defeat the IPC's max? You guys must have cheated! This doesn't count! I demand a rematch! Scrap metal, huh? The key to victory is never the weapon. It's the person wielding it! Hmm. I think Ali is watching. Right. I bet you're quite familiar with them, too. Enough! Fine this before anyway i apologize i want to apologize to the owner of the sleepless earl it's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose hmm uh okay what about the ceiling like a pig bitch part yeah don't forget the squealing make him squeal make him squeal oh god here we go Oh god! <laughs> Look, all of us. It's happening all over again. All right, but before I squeal like a pig, there's something else I want to say. What? IPC mix are a total joke. Oink, 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 oink. Now you're oinking. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. You done? <laughs> oh my god! Scott leaves the duck with his head hanging low. <laughs> the painting is not closing, yet much time pursuits on the auto trophy shall continue. Uh huh, hilarious. We just, we just watch. Damn, such an achievement. I'm truly the auto express choice champion. Hey, we completed the ending. Oh, what? There are actually more endings? What? Master Yen Ching, Master Yun Li, you're teaching rocks. Uh, shame my body can't keep up with my brain. Martian can complete the stories through various story story extents in different special experience, championship stories, and even different ways that we finish the story. Each time the stories can be through the story, Martian would gain talent insight, which will exchange the status for starting a new round of training. After giving the story through something, the file will any feature that's pretty escape will be locked, allowing the quick explore during the story endings. I'm actually curious. Oh, right. Is it with the pattern slipping with you? Do you have full of whites? I was just wondering if there's a chance to have it with other buddies. Ooh, I want to go back to do this. I want to see what we do with Wawa's. <laughs> Let's do it. I already have an idea. Wawa, if you don't mind. You do. Oh, we heard that Scott sent you a challenge. So we were wondering if there's anything we can do to help you defeat him. Oh, thanks, Wawa. You've already been a huge help by teaching me how to use the exercising tools. Even though I've only been learning swordplay for a short time, I'm confident I can take down the IPC next. Uh, don't mention it. It's actually me who should be thanking you, March. But seriously, didn't he kick Scott's butt already? So why is he back again? Don't humans ever learn from their mistakes? Some. No, no, Mr. Tail. There's a saying. Revenge is a dish best served cold. But Scott hardly has any patience. He couldn't resist the temptation to get back at us. Still, if that's how I beat him, it'd be a little less satisfying. Hmm. 
So, what did you? What would be your idea why you're teaching him the lesson? Actually, I have no idea. Now, hey, Miss Hill, do you mind? Yeah. I get it. Some people never learn. No matter how many times you knock them down, they'll never admit defeat or learn anything. So, uh, how do we get him to admit defeat? Do you have any ideas, Mr. Tail? Listen, kid, I'm not trying to rag on you, but you're always playing into Scott's hands with your approach. He set up these rules for a fight between his mechs and your sword, and you agree. Then he laid out what to do if you win or lose, and you agreed again. It's basically just another one of Scott's organized sports events, and it's not even fun if you win. Hmm. Rules are made to be broken. Hey, cut it out, kid. Just leave the cool catchphrases to me. I'm a Heliobus, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Just remove my seal, Wawa. <laughs> hmm. Are you... Are you planning to possess Scott? <laughs> Just possessing him won't be enough. I'm gonna get inside his head. Just wait and see. I'll make Scott change his mind and admit defeat wholeheartedly. What do you say? Oh, you're awesome, Mr. Tail. Hmm. I'll leave to you then, Mr. Tail. Oh, am I being Mr. Tail for this? That'd be interesting. Follow Mr. Advice, hold me some privilege, and then you head to all of us, promise. Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. Hmm. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. We're here to fight. What's wrong with you people? Sending me a threatening letter? Who are you trying to scare? A threatening letter? What are you even talking about? Oh, stop playing dumb. Didn't you slip this into my pocket? Uh, Mr. Scott, a great sinner of arrogance and insolence, you have inflicted your twisted lust for power upon that innocent <laughs> shop lust. owner and insulted the extraordinary art of Sienjo swordplay. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes in person. The time oh my God, I know how to realize. is now. Your twisted desires will be stripped away by us? This is like a Persona 5 reference if you guys recognize it. The writing is terrible. I wouldn't have understood it if you hadn't just read it to me. What the heck did you just say? Hey, who said that? Uh, no, uh, no one said anything. You must have imagined it. Well, enough for chit chat. March 7th, I'm going to make you bark. Like Bomb Breaker? I didn't even see her draw her sword. Time seemed to freeze, and all I saw was a flash of green fire. In an instant, I remembered staring out at the sea as a child, glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog, which turned out to be the home of that girl, Rakshmi. Seriously, who lights a green lantern in their house? Those guys must be nuts. Ah, why am I suddenly remembering these things? Is my life flashing before my eyes? Am I... Dead. Um, I think you're not dead. Mm, looks like this is Scott's mind. I'd better find where his most twisted desires are lurking. Sure, dude. Oh, this is like a side quest I'm doing? So that I've been doing. Oh, well, listen. Scott, get your butt over here. Oh, this guy looks just like his old man. Humans spent decades trying to heal their childhood traumas, and Scott might be no different. <sighs> What's with all the yelling on the weekend, Dad? We're sleepy. Sleeping? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Do credit sleep? Does the free market sleep? Does the invisible hand sleep? Forget it, we'll discuss this later. Like Pafana's boys. parents came by earlier. They heard about Pafana breaking his leg while playing Sky Dart. And they found out that you carried him to the hospital. So they decided to visit the father of their son's best friend. So, Scott was kind-hearted as a kid. You idiot! Aren't you and Pafana competing for the captain position on the Sky Dark team? Well, why are you befriending your own rival? And you even carried him to the hospital? <laughs> You're such a caring guy, aren't you? Lyndon Scott. How many times have I told you that our Scott family crest is the Lone Wolf? And our family motto is no enemies, no friends, only prey. Would you carry your prey to the hospital? Well, little Scott was 
pretty unfortunate to be born into such a family. But, Dad, I broke his leg on purpose. If I hadn't taken him to the hospital, others would have suspected me. Wait, what? Say, like, what oh. the fuck? <laughs> so that's how it is. Oh, gee. I'm so sorry, Scott. I shouldn't have scolded you. <laughs> I apologize. Huh. It's okay, Dad, because you're the best. I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It seems his most twisted desires aren't here. <sighs> no, we're still looking around. The motherfucker! Well, I'm just playing around. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god! Who the fuck? The who the hell? Is that? Wait, I, this guy looks familiar. Is he, is he from um the Penalty World? The hell is going Scott on? Scott Senior, you're suspected of accepting a huge bribe. Now come with us. Ah, the old guy got caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got old. Uh, I knew this day would eventually come. Wow. <laughs> I only have one question, Captain. <laughs> Who sold me out? An internal tip-off. We're not allowed to disclose any detail. An internal tip-off. Most of those involved have neither the motive nor the evidence. Who could it be? It was me, Dad. I turned you in. Ah, your son. You? Scott? You're the one who turned me in? Oh, man! This guy is heartless! The old guy looks like he's about to cry! <sighs> I'm so proud of you. Proud? Dad. Use me as a stepping stone to reach greater heights. Lyndon Scott, you are the pride of the Scott family. A true lone wolf. And your dad is so proud of you. I'll do as you taught me, father. Jeez, oh, this guy is simply hopeless. His most twisted desires aren't here at all. Mm -mm. Seems pretty odd if you ask me. Now what is going forward? No. After this, what's next? Hey, Scott. My best buddy. I'm getting transferred to the Tartarian. Let's grab a drink after work. This guy actually has friends? <sighs> Maybe I can find something here that'll make him change his ways. The Tartarian? That's the frontier fortification vessel, isn't it? You haven't slipped up at work lately, have you? Ha ha ha! So it was you who meddled and got me transferred, right? Uh, no one else on our team has the skill to pull something like this off. <laughs> Come on! Why am I not surprised at all? It couldn't be helped. Your position was so desirable, I had to make a move. It's not just about the position, is it? There's also Rakshmi. <laughs> no one will ever compete with you for her again. Rakshmi? Glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog. Could it be that Rakshmi is the love of Scott's life? Please, promise me that you'll treat her well. <sighs> of course, Ashimat. Go to the Tartarian without worries. I'll take care of her while you're away. Seems like his most twisted desires are not here either. Nah. Put it down there. Take care of her. Is it this one? Is it? Oh la la! How long have we known each other, Scott? Around seven or eight years. We've been working together for so long, and I just realized our hometowns are so close to each other. <laughs> Talk about a coincidence. Yeah, we never get a chance to talk about this stuff at the office. Oh, I didn't realize Scott was actually a scumbag with a pure heart. All these years, there's something I've been keeping to myself. Too afraid to tell you. You like me, don't you? Uh, why are you being so blunt? Oh, well done, Scott. <laughs> I like your straightforward style. Yeah. I want to be your girlfriend, Scott. Huh? How would you fuck a robot? <laughs> gotcha, Scott. Ooh, I found your weakness. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha off guard. Wait, what? what? I recorded everything. You know office romances are strictly forbidden in our department. Once I make this recording public, you'll never be able to compete with me for the specialist position. <laughs> what the? Fuck. Well... <laughs> 
All right. That's exactly what I love about you, Scott. What? What the heck? Like, the hell, bud? I'll step aside for you. But when the day comes that I surpass you in the same manner, I hope you'll acknowledge my intentions. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm a lone wolf, remember? Oh, he's such a jerk! Like, motherfucker! My god, oh, what? Are we... What? Is that a wolf? Wait... No, that must be Scott himself! The crown behind him must be his most twisted desire. Oh, finally, I found the depths of your hopeless soul. I'll strip away your twisted desires. Who are you? This is my place. How did you get in here? I can come and go as I please. Do I need your permission? Let me tell you something. In your quest to reach the top, you've trampled over everything that's decent. It's all about success. I'm the pride of the Scott family, a certified lone wolf. I'll do whatever it takes to reach the pinnacle of life. But are you truly happy? You've sacrificed your family, your friends, and your love. All for those meaningless credits. Ask yourself, are you truly happy? Uh, uh, am I happy? Am I truly happy? I... Oh, I'm so happy! I'm ecstatic! You couldn't even begin to imagine how happy I am! Sacrificing my emotions? Ha! What a joke! What good do my emotions do me? Can they turn into a delicious meal or a glass of wine? Can they pilot a starship? Or buy me a mansion? So, answer me this. Do you think anyone would pay credits for my emotions? No way! But I can trade my credits for emotions. With enough credits, I can make anyone my friend! <sighs> This man is truly hopeless. Maybe I need to try a different approach this time. But I'm not about to spend my hard-earned credits on something as pointless as emotions. I'm a lone wolf. A lone wolf from the Scott family. With no enemies or friends. Only prey! <laughs> Bring it on, Scott the Lone Wolf. I'll show you what I'm made of. Am I bringing my characters or... Oh, I am. Yeah, you're done. Oh. Are you hallowing? Hey, look, you're almost dead. I just be on the battle because why not? I'm too lazy to show everything at this point. No, you're god. You're about almost dead. But everyone else. Man, I'm gonna kill them. Oh, look, now they're dead. <sighs> okay, now that's over. Specialist Scott, March 7th swung her sword, and something green entered your body. Then you froze and started muttering something. Are you okay? Hey! March 7th! What did you do to Specialist Scott? Me? I didn't do anything. Seriously. I just stand there. Mr. Tail, what? What did you do to Scott? Hmm. You didn't do all of his emotion, did you? Come on, what are you thinking? I just stripped away his most twisted desire. Watch what's about to happen. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Scott seems weird. Did you really make him change his ways, Mr. Tail? Well, this is my first time doing something like this, so I'm not sure how things will turn out. You've managed to make a guy like him turn over a new leaf. You're amazing, Mr. Tail. <laughs> I'm even more amazing than you think. Look, it's kicking in now. Oh! Specialist Scott, what's wrong with you? Oh, 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 oh. oh God, he's he's like paddling. <laughs> okay, this guy is not okay. I removed his twisted desires, and now he's genuinely trying to become a lone wolf. Mm, that's the that's the ideal. <sighs> Good thing you're on our side. Yeah, you don't 
Remember, it's best not to make an enemy out of Fuhua. Don't fight me, special Scott! Send the Abyss book off takes on Billy and Scott pursues him on all fourth. What? Aw, I thought Mr. Tail would possess me and teach me some super cool Heliobus sword play. Nah, I told you I'm not really one for violence. Nah, there's been clues of concluding, yet much more specific on the odds of this shall continue. Oh, that's interesting. Anyways, I'll come back to do more of this. For next episode. Oh well, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.